Welcome to our weekly program, The Inside Story of Chabad in America through the Mindel Archives. This is the fifth or sixth program. It's all a continuation of the trips, the shlichus that the Rebbe sent Rabbi Mindel to Russia those days in the most dangerous time. Uh, a b- background of captive Sfari manuscripts that the Rebbe asked them to bring back from Russia. And last week we mentioned the times that he went, we mentioned some stories, you can always click back and listen. <clears throat> but today I want to read a note that Rabbi Mindel wrote. Um, remember, the Rebbe said that whatever Rabbi Mindel was very accurate in his writing, very bidiuk. So whatever he wrote was 100%. Very important to know this. And as I showed you a few weeks ago, this is the peckle. This whole peckle is, is all the trips of Russia. And he wrote down everything. Some of them, the Rebbe, the Rebbe's Hago is here. So this is the peckle of Russia. So today I'm going to read what he wrote. He wrote in Hebrew. <clears throat> a note maybe to somebody, in the year 1988. And uh, I'm going to translate this into English. In 1988, the Rebbe sent us three chsidim to Russia to find the Lubavitcher Library. <clears throat> and he writes, this is from Hebrew, the first world war, the Lubavitcher library was transferred from Lubavitch to Moscow. In 1915, then it fell in the hands of the communist regime around 12,000 Sfarim books. The books were Rare books. Three shluchim. We went as guests from the culture ministerium thanks to Dr. Armin Hammer. He was the head of uh, Accidental Petroleum. All doors were open for him in the Soviet Union. He was promised from the culture minister, Zakharov, that if we will find the Lubavitcher manuscripts, they will allow to give back to the owners. This was promised. Who are the owners? The Rebbe Shlita, the Tzaguch, in America. And it was underlined. <clears throat> but the fact was, not only we didn't have help from the culture ministerium, no one opened the doors for us. But we did know where our library, this forum, should be found. In the head Soviet library under the same name of Lenin in Moscow. By Hashgacha Pratis, by divine providence, Debishter, God helped, we found out that our complete collection, Sfarim, were intact, not scattered around all over in different places, <clears throat> the way they wanted us to believe, but under the name but under another name, not Schneerson of Lubavitch collection. Uh, I cannot describe in a letter right now, but he did tell the Rebbe. We were also in Leningrad when we were finished with our main shlichas in Moscow and Leningrad, I returned home. 
The other two went to other places, like Kiev, Odessa, to look for more books, Kisveyad, his manuscripts. I left because my wife was not feeling well, and the other reason, only the Rebbe knows, and not for now. The bureaucracy in Soviet Union was indescribable. Everything with a smile, because we were still official guests. This is unbelievable. On my other trips, he writes, and we spoke the last few, few programs, the Rebbe Shlita sent me, I traveled undercover. No one knew who I was, that I belonged to Lubavitch or the Rebbe, and the Shlichas was Behatzlocha Gdeilo. Meaning that the Shlichas was a different type of Shlichas. Then he writes a memorandum. January 13, 1988. <clears throat> I don't think we have time to read the whole thing. But I'll just start here and I'll finish it next week. After visiting with Olga Dayakinova, Chief of the Department of Foreign Culture Relations of the Lenin Library, <clears throat> we left with her, at her request, a list of 20 books <clears throat> from the original Lubavitch Library, which we have strong reason to believe are in the Lenin Library. We could easily find and identify them if we were given permission to do so. <clears throat> The said books could also serve as a key of tracing and identifying the rest of Lubavitch Library if we were given permission to continue the search. <clears throat> Olga de Yakinova said she would discuss the list with the library consultant on Hebraic literature and possibly arrange <clears throat> to have a meeting with him our visit with Olga took place yesterday afternoon. <clears throat> we believe that some manuscripts of Lubavitch Library may be found in the Department of Manuscripts of the Lenin Library. We would like to, uh, to get permission to visit the section of Hebrew Library of that department. We know there is in Saltikov Shetsedirin Library of Leningrad a section marked Schneyesen Archives located near the Firkovitz collection. Our plan calls for a visit to Leningrad after our mission in Moscow is completed at at least the first step as mentioned in, in the first paragraph. It could be necessary that the chief librarian of the said Leningrad Library receive instruction from the Ministry of Culture to extend to us every assistance and cooperation to visit and examine the said Schneerson archives, as well as other departments of the, of the library uh, pertinent to our research. We have reason to believe that part of Lubavitch Library stored at the Lenin Library in Moscow may have been transferred to the Library of the Institute of Jewish Culture in Kiev in, in or about the year 1934. The library of the said institute was partly destroyed by the Germans <clears throat> during the war. The books that had been salvaged were packed in boxes and stored in two local cellars, the addresses of which we know. This took place in 1949, and to the best of our knowledge, may still be there, uh, though we do not know in what condition. <clears throat> and I'll read you one more paragraph, and the rest I will leave for next week. During the years of 1925 
1935. The said institute was the 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 the, pas, the, 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 the place of Jewish and Hebrew books that had been confiscated or otherwise collected from synagogues and individuals. For the most part, these books belong to Lubavitch synagogues and followers in various parts of the USSR. These books are of no interest to Russian people since they had been left in storage all this time. They are, however, of interest and belong to the Lubavitch movement. And then he writes, we wish to visit Kiev after Leningrad for the purpose of verifying our information and eventually receive permission from the Ministry of Culture to have them restored to the Lubavitch Library headquarters in Brooklyn, New York. So, and I didn't finish. <clears throat> Next week I will finish. This is very important that the world should know what is happening when we say, hey, Tavis, and then the rabbis send people to Russia. They were there for a long time. This is very, very important. Next week, we are going to continue this program. Thank you. <clears throat>